Hey everybody, it's Tyler Tapper, and today we have two knives that kind of go together. This is the first video, and I'll be putting a link to the second video down in the description. They are two knives for my father-in-law and brother-in-law. The first one that I'm going to show in this video is the one that's for my father-in-law. I wanted to have the knives kind of go together, so I actually had them send a piece of walnut down from their family farm, and that's what I'll be using for these scales on both of the knives. I didn't want them both to look exactly the same, so I'm going to cut through the grain differently so you can kind of see the different patterns with the sapwood and the heartwood in there. Now, for some reason, I don't know if it's just because this wood was green, but man, this stuff was really hard to get through with a handsaw. After fighting with it to try and get the first part cut off with a handsaw, figured a sawzall might get through it a little bit quicker, but man, I still struggled with this for forever too. Uh, brand new wood blade, so I don't know exactly what was going on with it. After I had the two pieces, I knew there was going to be some movement in the wood just because it was still so wet. It was fresh off of a tree, so I put these on. We have a fish tank with a really powerful 250 watt metal halide lights and the exhaust fan on those. I set these on top of there to dry them out and they really curled up quite a bit. So I wanted to do that curling before I had them glued down onto the knife blade. I'm glad they did because they curled up a lot and I had to sand them for quite a while to get them flat. After I did that I went through transferred the pattern onto them like I wanted them and then used a scroll saw to rough out the shape of them before I glued on the scales. If you've seen any of my other knife videos this is pretty standard with how I do it. It's DevCon two-part five-minute epoxy. I get one side and clamp it together let it dry. Then I can go through the other side drill out all of the holes so I have a reference on where to drill through the other direction when the other side of the scale is on. I had a couple different ways you could do the pins on these. You can see there you could either do a two pin or you could go and do all these pins up and down the sides of there. I thought since I was doing brass pins I'd probably tie in with the brass handle pretty well and give the relatively simple scale some uh, little bit of detail in it. So I'm just putting that same epoxy over all the pins, sticking them in the holes, and then I hammer them down in so they go all the way through. Did a decent amount of shaping of this off camera on the belt sander even. I had to go into the bottom where the metal was because these scales weren't quite long enough after they dried. They actually cupped up enough that they shrunk enough that it wouldn't quite fit over the metal. I just went back in with the belt grinder and got that even and got everything smooth. As far as the finish, I wanted a shiny finish so I did one dip inside of a polyurethane. Uh, you just have to be a little bit mindful of the nub that forms on the bottom, so come back 10 or 15 minutes later and wipe all that off the bottom, and it really easy one-step finish. Typically when you use walnut, it's all that you're going after, that really dark brown color on there, so it's kind of fun to work with the heartwood and the sapwood on there. I think it went along really well with the brass and the brass rivets on there, so I was happy with how it came out. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch my video. As always, I really do appreciate it. You can see the second knife here, a little preview of it. I will link that down in the description when the video is ready. It'd be awesome if you could hit that like button for me, share this around if there's anybody you can think of that would like it, and subscribe if you don't want to miss anything else. I will see you guys next time. Thank you again. Hey everybody, I want to let you know that I'm starting up a Patreon campaign. Uh, if you guys are feeling generous, I'd love it if you'd check down the description. There's a link down in there to my Patreon page where you can donate. Otherwise, I really appreciate your continued support just by watching the videos. Thank you.